Metro Manila subway breaks ground. Officials on Wednesday broke ground on the Metro Manila subway, the country's first underground rail system that is among the flagship projects under President Rodrigo Duterte's P8 trillion infrastructure program. The 36-kilometer subway will stretch from Valenzuela on the capital's northern into the Ninoy Aquino International Airport, promising as fast as 30 minutes of travel time from end to end, the Department of Transportation said. The government earlier said it hoped to open the first three stations in Valenzuela, Tandaon Sora and North Avenue before Duterte's term ends in 2022. Inaugurating and groundbreaking is one thing, finishing it is another. We will finish this in 2022. Sabine Gassa Ingalls, I will be watching you. This is what we want to achieve. Some Ganabjitada, Manawalakao, said Transportation Secretary Arthur Tugade. Executive Secretary Salvador Medial Diaz said the Duterte government would finish the subway project as fast as we can, as well as we can and without any whiff of corruption. The subway spans seven cities and municipalities and three business districts. A joint venture including Shimizu Corp, Fujita Corp and Takenaga Civil Engineering CEO of Japan and D Corp from the Philippines was tapped to design and build the first three stations, the doctor said. It will connect to the MRT3, the LRT2 and the Philippine National Railway Lines, according to Transportation USIC for Railways Timothy Baton. The Metro Manila subway will leverage on Japanese technology to make the structure flood and earthquake proof, the doctor said. A study by the Japan International Cooperation Agency estimated daily economic losses in Metro Manila due to traffic had risen to P3.5 billion. Last November, the government opened the Paranac Integrated Terminal Exchange an airport-style structure that serves as a hub for buses and jeepney in the south of the capital. <laughs>